According to the National Institute of Health, your entire skeleton is replaced about every 10 years. During your childhood and teenage years, bone formation occurs more quickly than bone resorption, resulting in growth. Osteoporosis is more likely to develop if you did not reach optimal peak bone mass during your bone building years. You reach your maximum bone density and strength around the age of 30, after which time bone resorption slowly overtakes bone formation. Making even small changes in how you eat and exercise can help prevent a broken bone. You can slow osteoporosis with new and healthy habits. My name is Joan Omambia and here is what we have for you on today's episode of Health and Flavor. Being careful, because it's the weakening of the bones, you need to be careful in whatever you do. This is my meal, it is raw and I'm going to take it. Today I'm going to cook using olive oil. Ha ha ha, there you go. Just like your muscles, your bones get stronger if you give them training. We went out to the streets of Nairobi to find out if people know what osteoporosis is and if they know how to prevent it. Honestly, I don't know what that is. I think it's the weakening of the bones, the bones being porous, yeah. Yes. So what do you think is the remedy to osteoporosis? Um, I think being careful, cause, because it's the weakening of the bones, you need to be careful in whatever you do, uh, no, no running carelessly, no walking carelessly. Then I think drinking of milk, which is uh, efficient in iron, yes. Hi, what's your name? Dan Karachian. Do you know what osteoporosis is? No, I don't. Hi, what's your name? Doris. Do you know what osteoporosis is? No, I have no idea. What one needs to do is just to have a high intake or increase their intake of calcium, maybe through taking off milk. And at the same time, you can ingest calcium through uh, um, the, the, the capsules. You can buy these capsules, these, um, the, 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 the kind of things that people just swallow to, you know, to boost their immunity. There are various kinds of things you can buy out there. On this episode of Health and Flavor, we will learn natural remedies used to prevent osteoporosis, including diet and exercises that will help you cope with the condition if you already have it. Our nutritionist, Hesperance Diodate, will advise on practical adjustments you can make to your diet so as to prevent osteoporosis. Stay tuned. The history of medical conditions like a, a autoimmune immune disorders, kidney disease or liver disease. Then those ones also, again, they cause osteoporosis. Now, long-term use of certain medication, again, uh, causes um, osteoporosis. Then when we are under, we are above, well, we are in our 20s, 30s, 40s, we spend most of our time under the shed. We indoors, not outside. We even forget the role of the sunshine. So we start lacking vitamin D. Now when that happens again, we endanger ourselves because we are losing more bones. We do not absorb more calcium because of lack of vitamin D. And then another cause is high amount of emotional stress. When you are in a family setup and then you have this work stress, environmental stress, driving itself is a headache. Now stress, depression, it removes a lot of minerals because it will remove these alkaline minerals to cool you down. When that happens, you see, you become weak, the bone mass uh, reduces more than it is being replaced. Now, in your working area, you do not travel with food, it is too cumbersome to prepare food at home, so you take what is readily available, you become nutritional, um, uh, uh, you eat what, something that is nutritional, has nutritional deficiencies, uh, lack of vitamins and minerals in your food, Again, there's a problem. Then the weight sets in. When you, you have this weight, then you are being advised on a quick diet that will bless you to lose weight so quickly because you want it. Now that diet is restricted of some vitamins and minerals. Then you do not know by doing that, again, you are jeopardizing your bones. Then some symptoms. Or when you are doing all this, your bones 
we are just being diminishing without making any noise, without alerting you. Now, all of a sudden, then your bones were weakened, and because you did not know, here comes you break your bone or you fracture yourself, or sometimes you have this back pain or you have this bone pain or the feeling of depression, the feeling of isolation. Now, you wonder, now, is my posture changing? Probably because I'm trying to hide my tummy or it is like I'm losing even the height. Then you have this stooped posture. Mm, the bone fracture. That is when you realize that you had gone so far, you were doing everything that you were doing, but inside you, there were some losses that were happening. You were losing more than you were replacing. With all those factors, then you are in trouble. There are factors that are, 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 are causing osteoporosis, and some of them are unchangeable. They're unchangeable risks. For example, your sex. You cannot change if you are a man or a woman, but women are more likely to develop osteoporosis. Your age, the more you age, you lose uh, the nutrients in your bone, and then the greater your risk of osteoporosis. Family history, do you have it in your family? Body frame size, men and women who have small body frames tend to have higher risk of getting osteoporosis. Let's talk about your hormones. Another risk factor is when you have a lower level of some hormones, let's say uh, sex hormones, then the more the risk for you to get it. When your estrogen for women, estrogen is getting low, like in menopause, then the osteoporosis sets in. But for men, when their sex hormone is being reduced with age, then their level of osteoporosis also grow high. Again, we have issues with prostate cancer. Whenever you are on medication for prostate cancer, those medications, if you are using the medication that is lowering the level of the, uh, testosterone, your, your, your sex hormone, then some osteoporosis will come in. You see, you are treating this, but there is another thing that is coming in. Now, whenever you have any breast issue, breast cancer, and then you have been given medication that is lowering the level of estrogen, then just know that there is another problem with osteoporosis. So with all these hormonal imbalances and hormonal problems like thyroid glands, then all those will have uh, uh, some problems. Adrenaline, for example, parathyroid glands, all those will have issues with osteoporosis. Another factor is a dietary factor. When you have a meal that is low in calcium, let's face it, the calcium, we have plenty of it. It is in whole meal. It is in this whole greens. It is in broccoli and cauliflower. It is in dark leafy green vegetables. And we have it in some nuts. We have it. It is there. But is, is that what you eat every day? Do they provide for you when you eat? So if you, you do not have this, then it means when you have a low calcium diet or you eat whatever is available without caring what you are taking to your body, then there will be a problem. And then again, the eating disorders. Sometimes we do some diet that do not encourage us. And probably the underweight person the, weaken the bones. Both men and women will weaken the bones because of that. Or there are some surgeries, medical issues, gastrointestinal surgeries, when you are removing the size of the stomach because of some medical issues, or you are removing the size of your intestine, then your chances of absorbing nutrients become slim. And that, again, jeopardizes your life because of uh, lack of nutrients and probably the minerals. There's another factor as well. Now, medication. The steroids and medication. There are some corticosteroids medication that we use, for example, like prednisone and cortisone. All these ones are, are interfering. You are born to be built. So what they do, they diminish, they remove nutrients. And by doing that, you are in trouble. So osteoporosis has also been associated with medication used to combat or prevent seizures when you are on medication for seizures, for gastric reflux, cancer, transplant. All those have issues. Now, because of that medication, you will be in trouble because you see some of this medication are stealing some nutrients from your bones. 
Now we have another risk factor. Now the medical condition again will be high. The risk factor will be high if you are in this condition. Celiac disease, kidney or liver disease, cancer, prostate or breast cancer, or hematological blood disorders, Parkinson disease. Sometimes you have chronic pulmonary disease, diabetes, organ transplant, spinal cord injuries. Then again, you also have inflammatory boil uh, disease, lupus, and all these other nerve disorders, diseases, multiple myeloma, you have rheumatoid arthritis. All those are giving you an alarm. They are destroying this tendency of building more and losing less. They are reversing the situation. Then we have some risk factors that are lifestyle choices. Sedentary lifestyle, sedentary lifestyle, sedentary lifestyle. You're spending our time sitting. Let us do this. Even when you are working on your computer, why don't you stand up? Just stand up. Stand up and you see, after half an hour, walk around. You see, when you are standing up, it is easy for you to move your legs. It is easy for you to reach for a cup. It is easy for you to go somewhere in that room when you are standing up. So this posture is much better than sitting. And then exercise is a must. Use stairs, walk in the park. Just go, take a walk. Make sure that you park your car very far. Or sometimes you can, you can highlight, you can alight very far to make sure that you walk from the distance you have alighted even to your office or to your home. Make sure that you walk, 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 walk. Whenever you do exercise, that one is blessing the minerals to stick more to your bones. And you see, you are reducing the, 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 this tendency of losing more. Are you drinking alcohol? Hmm? Are you a regular drinker? You consume it more. I may not have anything against it. But just by doing that, you are inviting something that is called osteoporosis. Tobacco smoking. This one it does not just come by itself. There are complications of osteoporosis. Fractures, disability, weak bones, back pain, loss of height, this posture. But there's a way you can prevent it with good nutrition. You are made out of it. You will live with it. You will maintain yourself with it. And if you want to stay longer, it is just good nutrition. Now, protein is one of them. How do you get it? Get different varieties of legumes. Then you can also get it from fruits. Then with all these raw nuts, that is why we have raw nuts. Add some more. I did not put shea seeds here. Go take some shea seeds, some sesame, yeah? some coconut. Make sure that you have enough nuts. Make sure that you have fresh vegetables. Okay? But also, do not encourage being underweight. Just be what you're supposed to be. Make sure that at least for prevention purposes, you will find good sources of uh, calcium. And this is in dark leafy green vegetables. Some you will find there in some soya products. You'll also find it there. Calcium is there. Now, the another way of preventing it, get some sun. Sunshine is very important. Whenever there is need for you to supplement, make sure that it is just little. Whatever you are be, is being prescribed for you, that is what you should use because vitamin D is uh, aiding the calcium to be absorbed in the body. Now, regular exercise. Oh, I do not know. I do not know how old you are. I do not know about your age. All I know is that you strengthen your bones through exercise and you want to strengthen to maintain them. And if you want to keep, it, to keep them nicely, you want to, the bones to remain strong, then keep on exercising. Exercise. Make sure that you do not eat. Punish yourself. Give yourself some targets. Make sure that you, are recu you, you, you exercise regularly. It is extremely very important. There are some exercises that when we do, we stretch our muscles. Let us do them. For example, like when you walk and you take your hand this high and then you walk again, you take your leg that high or sometimes you jog. You see, those are good postures that will invigorate the whole body. All right. The natural remedy for osteoporosis, sometimes let us jump the rope. Yeah. Jump, jump some rope or 
Go upstairs and going back several times. Make sure that you do not use stairs. Just do whatever you will do. But there are natural remedies even when you have been told that you have osteoporosis, you have to start somewhere. Don't sit and say that I'm done. You are not done yet. Because remember, probably you have known this because of fracture. Let it heal and then start exercising. Sunshine is very important. Do not forget that. You will also need to supplement. But what should we supplement on? Go for chelated products, chelated minerals. Chelated minerals, these minerals are ready to be taken to your body and be useful. Don't just go for supplements. These other supplements are in a way that they cannot be used in the body. You are using a lot of money to buy them, thinking that, yes, I'm supplementing on this calcium or I'm supplementing on this vitamin D, but they are not ionized. And so when you take them, your body can hardly absorb them. You do not even have the enzyme that is responsible to absorb it. So that is why they have to be chelated. So it is important for you to know. But stick to the alkaline diet. Alkaline diet is whole. Alkaline diet is, it is fresh as it is. Take, learn to take your vegetables raw. Learn to take your fruits. Learn to take a bowl of it. Enjoy your salad. Put whatever salads you want to, put, to, to add there. Probably it is, a, it, is, it is olive oil or probably some lemon. You can also add with, with, with some avocado. It's okay. But be a friend of nature. Be a friend of nature. Fruits and vegetables. There's something else. All these fruits and vegetables, raw, they have the minerals that the bone wants. Your bones want magnesium, calcium, potassium, vitamin K, vitamin C. They also have some nutrients that your bone wants. The nuts have them. Now, omega-3, befriend, befriend the fish oil. Befriend, make sure that you have a balance of omega-3 and omega-6. Take raw nuts. Take green leafy vegetables. I'm going to make you something this, uh, uh, in this hour. But because all these are anti-inflammatory agents and they also have the antioxidants, you know what they do? They calm you during stress. They calm you. You can make some yogurt out of almond. You can also make some yogurt out, 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 out of uh, uh, cashew nuts. Play. Play with food. Have time. Play with food. Use some oils. Some sesame oils. Whatever your oils. But spoil yourself with some massage. Therapeutic massage. Calm down and remove all the stress. Feel it. Feel it, man. Feel it. You see tantalizing hands working on you, feel it. As it is working on your ears, it is working on your neck, feel it. And as you are removing the stress, let me tell you, when the stress level is going down, even the adrenaline is going down, and the acid is going down, and you are preserving your bones. This life is so funny. You just have to do something. And then after that massage, this is how, what you can do. Take a good meal. I'm going to make some for you. And this is raw broccoli. This is raw broccoli. I have some mint here. Have some mint. And with this, very good friends of mine, celery, they are packed in a lot of nutrients. These ones again. Okay. What I will do, I'm going to make some nice meal for you, whole. I have spinach, dark leafy vegetables, okay? As I'm doing this, and this one is going to be nice, after your exercise, after you have taken so much care of yourself, and you have some raisins, dried raisins, you are putting them in there, okay? And then you have garlic, you take one or two, it is there with the antioxidants that are needed. And then I will also add avocado. I'm going to put all of it here. Okay. I love nuts. I just love them. One or two. One or two of walnuts. And then you have some of the cashew. All right. Yes, few, not much. And flax seeds. Flax seeds. This is my way of cooking. No fire. 
If you have realized, I don't even use salt, but my food is good. Whole grain oats. Hey, whole grain oats. This is my meal. It is raw and I'm going to take it. Today I'm going to cook using olive oil. Ha, ha, ha. There you go. And then I'm going to add some bananas. And you know what? After doing exercise, after the stress of the day, after all the trouble, if you use things like these ones, raw, you are blessing the whole of you. And actually, I do not have another way of saying, I do not want you osteoporosis. I do not have any other language, except this is my language of saying, if by doing that, I will maintain the nutrients in my bone, then let me do it. So I'm doing it wholeheartedly, all right? You can use almond milk, you can use coconut milk, you can use whatever, cashew nut milk, you can use yogurt, you can also use juice. And all I have to do is There you go. ask you only one question look at it do you think you want to compare this with a plate of rice or whatever burger or chips do you do you think you can compare what I'm eating with what you're holding are they the same I don't know what you ate today but it will if it is not like this you can never compare it you see, I'm trying to speak with my body that this one has already been blessed. So just partake it and enjoy the blessings. Mm. I don't have to pray for it, but I can just thank my God for giving it to me. Only because this one is already packed. But you see, that plate you're holding, definitely just pray for that plate. <laughs> Lord, please bless it because it is empty. It is by choice. You can say no to osteoporosis using natural remedies. You can change your lifestyle. You can decide to take care of your body. Take it from head to toe. Change your lifestyle completely. But enjoy life. Preserve your bones. Preserve your bones. Preserve your minerals. Take more. Fight back. Do not just sit and wait and when everything is being taken away from you. No. Fight back. And this is the only way you can do this. Thank God for the, what he has given us. Let us enjoy it naturally. The natural remedies will take you places. You will see that you become more stronger and will become a blessing to yourself, a blessing to your family, and will become a blessing to many. Thank you very much. I'm wishing you well. And what we are doing today is about osteoporosis and natural remedies. Be blessed. Anything that causes your body to destroy too much bone can cause your bones to become brittle or fragile. Of all the dangers to bone, salt is perhaps the hardest to curb. Salt shows up in nearly all processed foods, including whole grain breads, breakfast cereals, and fast foods. Let's now find out ways to prevent osteoporosis from Dr. Fesahat Segai, a public health specialist. Hi. My name is Dr. Fasad Agay, a medical doctor and a public health specialist. I'll take a moment and throw in a tidbit or two about osteoporosis. Genetic factors play a significant role in defining whether an individual is at increased risk of osteoporosis. But lifestyle factors such as diet and physical activity also influence bone development in use and the rate of bone loss later in life. Exercise your bones. Just like your muscles, your bones get stronger 
if you give them training. Weight-bearing exercise are best for your bones. They force your body to work against gravity as you move. That prompts the body to make new bone. Avoid alcohol and smoking. These habits double the chance of bone loss and fractures by keeping the hormone estrogen in your body from working efficiently. Get some sun. Sunlight triggers the production of vitamin D, which helps your body absorb calcium. This process helps strengthen the teeth and bones, which in turn helps prevent conditions such as osteoporosis or porous bone. Also, bones may seem like hard and lifeless structure. Bones are living tissue that respond like muscle to exercise by becoming stronger. Physical activity during childhood and adolescence increases bone density and strength. Your genes are responsible for determining your height and the strength of your skeleton. But lifestyle factors such as diet and exercise influence how healthy your bones are. We have learned a lot about osteoporosis. It is important to point out that exercise is the most important feature that stood out in today's lesson. A healthy diet free of excess sodium also works a great deal in ensuring we build strong and healthy bones. Processed foods supply 75% of the sodium we eat. Removing the salt shaker from the table and cooking without added salt helps, but avoiding processed foods generally is the most suitable and lasting solution. Thank you for watching today's episode of Health and Flavor. Until next time, I have been your host, Joanna Mambia.